conference on the new evangelization, ECNE, which majority of the attendees are catechists. So uh, the suggestion is July 27 because the PCNE is July 28, right? 28, 29, 30, three days yon. So 27 tayo yon, pero sa Lasal, while PCNE is in USD. So uh, I'll, uh, may I request uh, Father Dex and Dr. DeSander to say a few words regarding that film? Uh, the National Catechists Assembly, will be, as, as mentioned by Monsi, it will be held on the 27th of July, which is a Thursday. Thursday, and uh, uh, yeah, we will be holding it in the sun. Uh, basically, there are three main objectives. Why are we holding this um, catechetical assembly? There are three objectives. The first is that uh, since this is uh, this year, we are celebrating the year of the parish. It is an opportune time for us to recognize the efforts of our catechists in the parishes. That is why we are holding the National Catechists Assembly. The second objective is that we will be uh, launching the national um, organization, national movement of catechists. The third objective, I think I forgot. Sister Rio, what is the third uh, objective? But to uh, somehow recognize uh, catechists and to give them some uh, uh, inputs. That is why we, we are requesting the catechetical director, since you are all, all catechetical directors, most of you are catechetical directors, is to send at, at most 10 grassroots catechists, 10 parish catechists. So we are not actually inviting you, but we are inviting your catechists, not the coordinators, not the uh, leaders, but the grassroots catechists, meaning the catechists in your parishes. Uh, si Bishop Bobet will be sending a letter, uh, well, he will be sending letters to, to the bishops, but uh, we will also uh, send you copies of the letters so that, uh, uh, it, so it will be held on July 27, sa La Salle, <coughs> And uh, yeah, we are expecting each diocese to send at most 10 uh, grassroots catechists. Uh, preferably the young ones. <laughs> so, we have not yet uh, talked about young specifics. Young specifics eh? <coughs> and uh, I will turn over the floor to Father Dex because he will discuss the objectives of the NAP field. So, uh, actually, the National Assembly of the Catechists you know, uh, became an uh, 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 offshoot of the PCNP4, uh, which is on the communal communities here of the parish. Knowing that most of the many catechists would be attending this, uh, uh, so we thought of uh, uh, adding an extra day to just to meet the catechists of the Philippines. Yeah. And uh, we hope that the uh, catechetical directors will really send us, uh, uh, your catechists and grassroots to this assembly. Dahil sa antagal na natin, maraming taon na natin lumipas na napakilala na pa sa damatan ng mga katechista sa ating uh, simbahan. The last one was 1990. When we celebrated the year of uh, National Year of Catechesis, that was the PICC. That was the year 2000, Hati Unit, Religion Teachers, and Catechists, organized the man CAPNHJ. So after that, 17 years now, we don't have an event for the Catechists as such. And yet, we know that they are the ones really working this field no, in the different parishes. So we take advantage of the PCNP, the Maragupunta Don, at the Parang Pupunta Don, 
means that we honor them and punish them on this day. Okay. Now, in the in the part of this uh, day for them, we'd like to inform them and, and invite them to join this uh, uh, National uh, Association of the Catechists in the Philippines. No? And the rationale of this uh, well, movement is uh, to help form new catechists, no? and to be a, to, so the catechists be a force of the path toward youth evangelization uh, and feel that it, they, they are a group, they are an association. So, yeah, continues. The tasks are six. First is nurturing the, 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 the movement aims at uh, helping the, the catechists to nurture their spirituality. So to provide catechists personal and community and the avenues for the enrichment of their spiritual life. Second is to keep the missionary spirit burning uh, through, the, through programs no, of, uh, of mission agendas and new evangelization. Third is uh, to, con to provide them continuing formation. Yeah. So as the task to, uh, that offers members continuing theological and pedagogical formation through your symposium, conferences by ecclesiastical provinces and dioceses. In collaboration with the Benevolent Catholic Institution, the association draws a formation program for voluntary catechists to acquire proficiency certification in doing catechesis. So this is also the task of this uh, movement. Okay. Um, I can by ecclesiastical provinces and dioceses, because though it is a national movement, the vision is it will also operate by regions. Kung mapansin niyo, parang nawala yung lakas ng regional uh, groups sa NJ. Way back in the uh, 1990s until until 97, malakas ang regional groups. Eh. You have the uh, Southern Luzon, you have the Eastern Visayas, Western Visayas. Mindanao has five uh, uh, regions, regional uh, groups. No? So, through this movement, uh, natin po ulit because from the national, the programs could uh, prequel to the different regions. Yeah. And then, another task of this movement is to enter to, uh, re into research and communication. So, to uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, to assist Eche and other dioceses in accomplishing the responsibility of to research, right, the materials and publication. As you yesterday, the USD research group uh, presented to us uh, the survey, no? and what I mean is a survey in years or so And uh, one of them, one of these, would be to continue this research work on the, uh, the state of the catechetical ministry in the Philippines with this uh, through this movement. No? Yeah, and then uh, to the, the spirit, to strengthen the spirit of communion linkages. Kasi uh, ito rin may may sa, sa atin, wala pa tayong mga networkings among us, the Catechetical Centers, and then here locally and abroad. Wala, nag, uh, wala tayong may harap ng Catechetical Association National sa, even in the, in the other, with other countries. And then, lobbying and advocacy also would be the task of this. And for example, may issue na yung iba ba itong EJK na uh, as a movement, we could um, bring out the voice of the church. Uh, and yeah. So these are the tasks uh, for the of this. Uh, so the organization set up, so there will be a core group, which uh, would consist of the uh, bishop, uh, chair of NJ as advisor, and you have the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, communication minister, and then representatives of the ecclesiastical provinces, the regional. Okay, uh, Kaya ang core group, uh, uh, every region will be represented para di sa Board of Trustees or core group na tayong tinatawag ka. Sa, it is uh, under sa uh, structure niya. Okay. Then, the membership, there will be two types of members. The full members are those who are actively engaged in the catechetical ministry. And associate members are those who are engaged in aligned activities like campus ministry, social apostolate, yan. And then, the question is, uh, how about the retired catechists? No? Uh, uh, could they join as well? So it's, this will be still open for discussion. Okay? 
And so all members will receive a certificate of membership and a newsletter <laughs> for electronic mail or social media. And then full associate members will give, will give their minimum annual fee, like any, any, any other association. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's all. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 sa July 27. And at the end of the presentation, we will be giving them application forms, which they can uh, uh, then they, they fill up. So by the end of the day, we could have already uh, a, a first set of uh, possible or members. Then eventually, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, the follow up of this uh, movement will be presented also in the ACRE meeting, the ACMC meeting in August of Mississippi just to follow up and then to continue the, the ball rolling until the, the association would be finally be definitely established with its bylaws and the constitution. So initial pa lang po ito. No? But the, 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 the vision is for the Catholic kids to feel that they have a body, uh, the professional body that they can belong to and, uh, and, they can, and that can stand for them. Hindi itong, hindi uh, ko alam kung i-assign na natin tapos in coordination na lang with the Archbishop. Kasi may mga bishops members ang HN, di ba? Uh, coming from, kaya lang pa ka, from the different regions, from the Sines. Maybe Sines ba tayo? Mindanao. Buso. 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 Sa, Pakola. Sa Mindanao. Ah, uh, Buso. Alo? They will, we will assign them to the people who are going to discuss it. As a kind of uh, uh, assistant chair? Yes, I don't know. So, that's what uh, we represent sa, ano, uh, the July 27th, one of the agenda. Any question clarification regarding the movement, the uh, proposed movement? Kasi siguro isa sa mga pwede natin maihandog sa mga katikista ay magkaroon sila ng isang sabi nilang association na uh, aming to. So we're not, we, don't, uh, we don't feel that we are just isolated or uh, groups si Ana sa uh, dioceses but at the level of uh, country um, uh, uh, Father Kong uh, sampu lang ang representatives natin from the diocese so we need to say yung sampung yun lang um, for the meantime for the meantime lang no? kasi baka na lang kami sa ano I mean merely ba ten and ten or I think uh, Ang, ang application naman could go, go on eh, continuous na sa edge na lang oh, oh, oh. Oh. Probably, we the application form could be uploaded sa edge website and if they want to uh, they, can, they can fill up the application so until uh, we can set another meeting for the definitive establishment of this uh, with the bylaws na represent the bylaws approval ng bylaws and before sending them father uh, bibigyan na sila ng, ano, ng orientation mm -hmm. na pupunta kayo doon and then magiging member kayo na. Yeah. And that one will be done by regional or, or para hindi na masyad, hindi, hindi mag-assess na national ang ano na. So, para hindi rin sila ma mabibig na na gagawin pala kami member ng ganito na umaten kaya may... Ano sa 2027? Of course. Actually, hindi naman sila magiging, they are, they are being offered if just if they the free ano if they want to attend. Uh, but the, the real aim of the July 27 is to acknowledge and uh, honor our Catholics. Yeah. That's why the, the, the main speaker will be Archbishop Fisichella. Because we approved the ECNE, the ECNE, and the approval of the Lasan, we approved the ECNE, the Archbishop. Uh, Archbishop is already accepted the same, the invitation. Okay. So our main speaker, our uh, keynote speaker, would be Archbishop Fisichella, who is the uh, 
our special in charge of the office, president of the office for promoting the evangelization group. So that again. Should I read and cut this? Cut it, please, to make it easier. Yeah. Tapos na pala, for the logistic purposes, CFAM, the Catechist Foundation of Pagkaras of Manila, is ready to offer lodging, lodging pa for you, with a place to stay accommodation for those who will attend the BCNE and the NDIS National Assembly. Kasi yung mga katikista, kung wala doon na siya assembly, gusto mag-aatay ng BCNP, kanya-kanya hanap yan ng, ng, ng uh, houses, di ba? But because of this national uh, as, uh, the assembly, I would like to encourage katikis, no? to grassroots katikis, to attend, para may problema eh, wala kang matutulihan. Uh, so we asked the uh, Arsets of Manila Katikas Ministry to uh, take charge of offering uh, housing for this catechist and then eventually until they finish the BCNP form. So, if you have a question for your accommodation for accommodation for the 10 catechists representing the diocese for this assembly, uh, Manila is uh, ready to house them. Pwede kaya i-open din natin sa mga uh, national, yung mga directors natin at uh, coordinators aside from the 10 uh, yung uh, classrooms. Especially that uh, we are presenting this uh, yung, yung uh, association para sa ganun yung they will be also they will be informed about this. Kasi sila yung nasa top of the organization sa dioceses. I, I think they're most welcome, uh, you know, priest uh, directors and coordinators, they're most welcome. Only, uh, the only concern is that two days <coughs> after they will be coming again to Cebu. They will be going to Cebu for the uh, ANC. But okay, naman, uh, they're most welcome. In fact, uh, we welcome their presence because that is an added uh, boost to the Catholic Church. They are really supported by their uh, priests and uh, uh, coordinators. And their bishops, if the bishops would come and uh, show their support to our classroom. Mm -hmm. wala naman problema sa sa venue okay even though it is we go beyond 1,200 kasi we can have a satellite uh, place na magko pwede to overflow uh, will there be a fee for those who will be staying in will there be a Kasi ang idea there is that si Fang will look for houses for families that will welcome the catechists. Again, the, 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 the aim here is to actualize itong communion of communities. Kaya po mas, kaya po mayagalit si Father Carlo. Kasi ang, ang motivation is, let us uh, experience communion of communities among the catechists within the country. So Manila is what is willing to uh, accommodate, uh, to provide them housing in the different parishes. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Dr. Lissander. We go to the AMCM Acre, August 14 to 17. I request the uh, Senor Tony Samora and Mother Jess. And following that up is the proposed diocesan annual subsidy. Okay. Uh, 
Good morning, Bishop. And good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm still Reverend Father Monsignor. <laughs> uh, since uh, Cebu is chosen to host or the venue of our next EMCM, uh, I am privileged to work hand in hand or to assist the NC Secretariat in the preparations and listening to what we are talking about this morning, I'm very happy and thank God that the word rich has come into our, has entered into our world uh, without diminishing the preferential option of the poor emphasis characteristic of our church. Now we're talking of the rich solutions, the rich parishes in Makati, the rich yet holy monsignor, and all the rest of it. This, this prepares me to, to introduce to you the venue because considering everything in Cebu, with the NC Preparatory Committee and the two weeks ago, uh, Mother Jess went to Cebu, considering everything, uh, it's a four-star hotel that is chosen as the venue. So we know what is a four-star hotel. Just, that's the place of the rich. <laughs> that's the place of the rich. So, uh, logically, we have a rich father, right? Everything is owned by our Heavenly Father. Wow. So must his <laughs> sons and daughters be. <laughs> so, as heirs of the heavenly riches and the world, the riches of the world, I think we are also rich. <laughs> so may I uh, inform you that the registration for uh, for EMCM has three types. Uh, first, if you want three in one, uh, not one bed but one room, three in one, <laughs> you will pay five thousand. But it's a very nice three in one room. Mother just wanted to be in prison there. <laughs> and Bishop, she is asked to sign in lieu of you. And according to her, <laughs> she's afraid that she will be in prison. But she likes to be in prison in that hotel. Uh, for those of us who would want to be in two in one, in twin sharing, uh, we will be asked to pay 7,000. And for the single, uh, originally the, the, the single room of that hotel is, uh, will cost thir for three days, uh, this is for three days, uh, for three days 13,000. But because the owner of that hotel seems to be associated with the Opus Day uh, you know, with the church, so there is a big discount. So for a single room, it is 8,000. Uh, am I right? For three days, uh, this is for three days. Five for three in one, seven for two in one, and for a single room, occupancy, 8,000. Uh, uh, everything is included already. But in the whole activity, all our dinners will be outside because that will be the time also for Suroi Suroi Subo, aka side trip, wherever that may be. <laughs> well, the dinners are outside because it has lessened the amount. It has lessened the amount. And the meals are outside. But we, we could not have our lunches and our breakfast outside, so it is the dinner that will be outside. I think uh, we're planning to have the welcome dinner at the SRP Pedro Calumso uh, Chapel. Then the second, the second night, the dinner will be at the Archdiocese Catechetical Center. Uh, we, are, we will be happy to welcome you in the center. And the, the, this is still a plan, still have to connect the people. The third will be, I, we're planning to have it in the cathedral. The cathedral. 
with the last night of our uh, our stay, uh, our stay. And then, uh, with regards to the environmental exposure, which usually happens in EMCM on the last day, but according to mother, this will not be included because it's optional. This will not be included in the official program of of EMCM. So this is optional. Please uh, indicate that you want to swim with the botanics in Oslo. And that is our environmental exposure or side trip again. Uh, and it's, it will be a different, uh, it's a separate uh, activity. So please indicate if you want to swim with the botanics because we will be preparing for that also. Then don't forget also to indicate your uh, flight or trip details, be it in the airport or at the seaport, so that we could prepare the pickups. Again, uh, that's it. If you have questions, Mother Jess is ready to answer. Okay. <laughs> so, good morning, my brothers and sisters. Just like to add to Father Anton's um, sharing um, actually the in fairness the management of the third game has been a very good discount actually the first um, costing that uh, we said that was the first division was around 900 but it was reduced down to 600 plus but however uh, considering the other agencies like when we have guests, we have guests, of course, you have to be generous enough to just to charge them and other contingencies. So that's the price that we ask of you. So like that 5,000 is supposed to be 4,500 only. But over and above, because of other expenses, unforeseen expenses, that's why we added to that amount. So they're very, very accommodating and um, and we're very happy with the environment. It's a it's a four star hotel, but the environment as if you are also like in a retreat house. So we they provide us with a chapel, a room that will be converted to a chapel. And everything will be done in the thirteenth floor where you had that one? Thirteenth floor, no? Thirteenth floor. Eleven. Eleven. So like that floor. Eleventh floor. So we have the conference room. We also have there the dining area. dining area, and the food is very good because we they offered us for just for for the taste of what we're going to have. So I think you'll be happy with it. So we would like also to thank Sierra uh, because she was also the instrumental bringing the group the first group there. And the next time I went alone and I met Father. So just to add, those who would like to join the the um, environmental exposure to put that in. If you have any problem with accommodation, the ACC is open for free. Only the lodging, for your food, and then they have to take care of themselves. So I don't think we'll have, in, in fact, I think well, we won't really have half of the participants to join that um, exposure. So that's why we said we could be out of the HS uh, responsibility. So if you want to add another day, so please take care of the arrangement with the father. <coughs> and if you'd like to send your hotel, the arrangement with the hotel management. And they're very, very accommodating too, just very, very good here. We met the vice president, so Mr. Kerr. Okay. No? And uh, the, also the executive sales and they were accommodating. So for me, I'm very happy and satisfied. Because I saw it in the effect. Thank you very much. Mother will subsidy. Manual subsidy. Hello, uh, suggestion seeing Mother Jess. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll ask her to present your suggestion. Uh, if it, even like for discussion, think, think that we just want to know your mind about it. It's a, 
uh, he wants to propose it, and, uh, but uh, I think it's important that we just listen to her first and then and we hear also what is in your mind about the proposal. And, uh, the idea came about the I was alarmed because of this last failure we got the AMC. So I thought I think it shouldn't be that way. Because every year, every time we have uh, an event, we really have problems, first of all, to get how many participants will come, how much are we charged so that we'll have enough budget. So that's the perennial problem that we have. So we thought, that's very easy if the dioceses are open and are generous enough. So we said, why don't we have a solidarity fund subsidized by the diocese? Let us say, the two, for the two events, the SKIP and the AMCM. So that, I said, the priest and the first class will have to worry about if we are going to attend, how much we are going to spend, are we going to, and all this. Problem. So if there is a fixed solidarity fee, that will take care of the whole year. So for example, for every event, as we see, we just need like 5,000. So for the 5,000, everything is there. You don't have to worry any extra. So you can, you still enjoy the one room, single room, you know, with the 5,000 and all the other um, whatever needs you have. And then for the AMCM and the and the um, yeah, AFC and the APRE, that will be 5-5 five, five for the coordinator and another 5 for the director. So that's 15,000 a year. So for 15,000 a year, they may give a lump sum, 15,000, or you divide every month for 2,000 every month, and then by the end you get 15,000. So that when we have events, we don't have to worry how many are coming, how much was our budget, because we operate according to the, the budget of the participation of the so I don't know, that's, that's not how it feels. So if the diocese is generous enough, then they can give that 15,000 for the whole year. You know, for the candidate director, the coordinators, for the two events, only them. But outside, even in the country, not outside, but that's not included. You have wanted to present it to you as a I uh, want it to be presented to you with, uh, with feelings and with... Because she's always going to be able to do it here in the budget every year. So I'm going to put a suggestion. Can you put it on the screen? Can you put it on the screen? In our discussion, Mother Chester, uh, I see it, Bishop, as not so much problems with us priests, but this has to be solved with the, the bishop. The bishop. Because whenever the bishop will say pay, I think that as the least will pay. Bishop, bishop, bishop. Bishop, bishop. Yes. Uh, so we'll just present it as a solidarity solidarity fund for the ongoing formation of our catechetical directors and coordinators. Charles. Father, uh, regarding the AMC, uh, we uh, usually our we would want to. Uh, the other retired coordinators to join us. So usually, uh, in our archdiocese, I, I would like um, four or five people from, to come. So maybe the 15,000 might not. It's only good for two people. But if we want to add more, uh, so I don't maybe would ask the bishop to add another. <laughs> but um, the difference between SKIP and AMC, I would definitely be would like also the sisters or other religious people. Yeah. So that will be that will be a, a problem of 
Posibleng yung meron silang uh, solidarity fund na 15,000 and then you just add more if you have more participants. No? Uh, Sabi siya po yung yun namang ginagastos namin dito. For example, ako galing sa catechetical fund namin po. So hindi na personal yun. And I think nagbibigay din po kayo ng choices eto meron ganito, meron ganito, meron ganito. Kaya kami mga pumipili ng kung nasan yung mababa, kung nasan yung gitna, o nasan yung taas. Um, may mga choices kasi. Pero kung kagayon siya, sabi niya, parang ganun na rin ang mga yayari. O, sabihin niya na, babayaran 5,000. So, doon siguro po ang i-release na amount mm -hmm. ng diocese o kaya ng ministry. Um, para makukuha na rin yung sinasabi ni sister na 5,000 to 5,000. May choices po kasi kami, siyempre, yes. pipiliin namin, mura-mura. Pero kung wala ng choices, hindi, bibigyan na yun ang obispo. Actually, ginagawa na ng diocese. Yes. Sub we are uh, being subsidized yes. by the diocese. So, yung mga, mga uh, commissions naman may mga budgets sa sa amin naman yung pagka dito uh, talagang sinasubsidize naman ang diocese so, ang going for mention ng mga directors can the rich parts diocese or diocese can be more pero mayaman dyan na pwede kayo parts ang mga tapos kung mas maraming pagkutas they can be more siguro minimum yung 5,000, 5,000. But the risk can be for fair minimum mm -hmm. thousand. Actually, kung uh, pinisend sa akin ni Mother ito, sabi ko, Mother, kailangan uh, pamusayan natin yung system of collection natin kasi sabi natin dapat collections na <laughs> dapat collectahin. Hindi natin ako collecta. Kasi mag, especially sa mga like for example in the national, just to inform you, there's a national survey, yung participation of mga bishops, uh, 2,000, 2,000 each, uh, para sa ganun ba, we will be able to accomplish yung national uh, survey. And uh, it seems to me, wala pang 50% at that time, uh, 2,000 na yun na. <laughs> Ito 15,000 yung kukulektahin natin. Uh, Ayun, yun din po po siya. Um, doon sa, sa um, implementing body ng ministries namin, uh, isa din sa dinidiscuss namin yung um, regular uh, collection, like uh, collection sa, yung pong nasa ordo, di ba ginagawa namin? Yes, yes, yes. And then I asked the, the group, uh, pwede ba, like for September, uh, meron din ganong uh, collection for uh, ministry on catechesis. Um, uh, sabi, uh, ano na lang yun, depende sa bishop. Pero pwede ba ilag, uh, I suggest, ilagay din po yun sa yung, yung meron sa uh, September, meron na, na part nito is for the catechetical ministry. Para po yun sa, ay yun sa pangitin nito. Yes. Kasi meron, di ba yung sa you? Nagko-collection yun, may Sunday para sa iyo, Sunday para sa... Yes, so... Uh, but, Senior Jerry, ano ba, ba yung naging, ano, bakit hindi tayo... Wala po tayo. Bakit? Pero lahat ng commissions meron. Like, alam ko ang nasa all Sundays so, so, of Lent, Alay, Papua. Yes. Everything goes to NASA. Ang biblical apostolate, <coughs> ang lay, ang youth, First day of Simbang Gabi. Ang um, tayo lang po ang wala. Ang mission, Mission Sunday. May envelopes pa nga yun eh. Pero tayo lang ang wala. So I, I, I'm I, interested sa suggestion, Father. And, but that has to be presented sa plenary assembly sa, sa just July ninyo. July, oh. Maybe a letter from you 
to be given to Archbishop Song for deliberation sa conference. Mm -hmm. Nagagawin sa September. Nakikita ko naman sa Ordo, walang collection kapag September eh. Meron ba? Meron. Biblical? Uh, indigenous. Indigenous? Ano? Yun nga. Meron. Wala sa Ordo. Wala sa Ordo. Wala sa Ordo. Wala sa collections eh. Pwede, pwede we can make that as a proposal sa ano. Then you don't need the solidarity fund. Yes. So, hindi na natin kayo natin. The office can function. Choice. Option. 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 I think 50% goes to the Diocese of Biblical Apostolate. So, nakaano po yung 30% goes to the national, 20% goes to the regional. So, meron po siya yung set up. Pro rata. Actually, iba-iba, iba-iba yung ano, yung sistema ng bawat commission. So, yung, you can, Pwede sa youth, magkano ba uh, chart yung sa youth at saka social communications? Yung, uh, sa second collections? 70% po na yung 70%? 30% sa, sa youth yan, sa youth. Social communication. Eh, sa youth. Parang 80-20. 80-20, oh. So, we can... Pwedeng 40%, 60, depende sa sa 60 sa diocese. 60 sa diocese. 40% pa ang diocese. Yes. Kakaroon ng more, may pera na ang katiketikal. Katiketikal means. More. In our diocese, our February is the diocese and katiketikal on this month. So, first communion and first commission. So the last Sunday, last Sunday of February, this is Sunday. So lahat ng mga kulipta sa sa diocese ay bigay sa sa DCA. So yan ang pero sa amin lang sa ano diocese na national. Pero mga six years or seven years na kung na mayroon this is Sunday, ang lahat na kolection sa parokya ay bigay sa sa amin office. Pero Pwede ba kayong magbigay ng uh, 60, uh, 40% ng national? Okay. I will. I will. Pagpasama. Next. 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 Uh, uh, next. February. Uh, <laughs> uh, pero mga 8 years na namin niya na practice. O oh, this is Sunday. So, Approved it. This year on the race. So, paano nila? Okay na. Okay na. Okay na. So in national, in our in our days, there's no problem though because we have already practiced that. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. It's a atin pala, no? Pala sa for the Catholic school. Usually, it's ano lang sa parokyal level, mali sa katinda, pero kami from time to time collections for our Catholic. Okay. 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 For July, we'll have to send a letter already to the to the permanent council. So okay, na po, okay na yun. I think yun na yung ano yung ispat na muna natin yung ano yung solidarity fund. Instead, we will push this second collection for the for NC and for the commission on cutting cases. Thank you, Bishop. Any other concerns? Actually, the Catechism for Filipino Catholics is under revision now. We would we're we're in the process of reconceptualizing the process of revision. The reason is because it has been there for more than 20 years, and uh, if you look at the methodology of CFC compared to the CCC, 
Well, CCC has four parts. This has three parts. Second is that the methodology, or at least the presentation, is context, exposition, integration, and Q&A. And since the context has radically shifted due to the changing tide, then we need to consider that. Second is that new magisterial documents have been written since that time and need to be integrated as part of the teachings of the church. But the most glaring of all is you will look at the CFC. The Holy Spirit was separated from the doctrine. Rather, the Holy Spirit was put in the context of worship. The suggestion is that we bring back the Holy Spirit as part of the Trinitarian doctrine, which should be the first part of the doctrinal uh, presentation. Second is that we would like to simplify the CFC as best as possible, expressing directly the teachings of the church, since it is the catechism. Because at least in the area of morals, which I am using in my theology subjects, there are parts in the word in the morals part that are not that are not catechetical, they're theological. They have bought into a school of thought of 